I've got something to say. I wrote on something today and it doesn't matter that much to me as long as it's red. I've got something to say. I got strangled by nuts today and it doesn't matter that much to me as long as it's said. Yes, it's yeah. hour four of Garbage Day. Uh, it's uh, uh, 24 Hours of Terrible Things Read with Enthusiasm, all to uh, benefit the National Network of Abortion Funds. Your generous donations go to uh, reproductive health efforts that are very important, very needed. Um, I'm Jimmy Franks, and we got some awesome readers in the room today. we got Boots, Rain Gear, The Intern, Bunny Bread, yep. Redacted. Ooh. And uh, Dijon du jour. And am I leaving anybody out, or is that, a, is that everybody here? Jack Chick was supposed to be here, but. Oh, that's right. Jack Chick, who will be broadcasting uh, in from the future. Right. Uh, he's on a. Uh... He, got a he got into a tragic accident with a dog on a skateboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. yeah, yeah. These things happen. <laughs> Wait, why don't we have that on the soundboard? <laughs> yeah, and, sorry. Uh, the, 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 the connection's a little shaky, so let me know if you can't hear me. <laughs> and uh, our artist uh, for this hour is Shell Game. And a nice round number. Yeah, $3,600 raised so far. So thank you all for your generous donations. Before we get into the the, uh, the subject matter, though, I would like uh, to throw it over to the intern who's going to talk about our uh, donation incentives this hour. Take it away. Hi there. Um, I'm the intern. And um, as uh, a freelance for free intern, I've worked for a lot of Hollywood big shots for free. And um, through my journeys in this town, I have come across um, uh, famous people such as uh, my personal mentor, Jonathan Banks. And um, he has generously donated some of his time uh, to uh, perform some cameos for anyone who's willing to donate $50. They can receive a uh, custom cameo from the the great, still alive, Jonathan Banks. Oh, yeah. Who is uh, my the, mentor. Uh, the actor uh, from uh, Gremlins. And, um, uh, uh, he's from Breaking Bad and Better uh -huh. Call Saul. He shows up in The Cheap Detective uh, very famously. Um so uh, here's proof that I know him. He's actually right, right here. Oh wow! Hi, it's me, Jonathan Banks. Oh my! You know, God. from television and movies and stuff. I was also in Forty Eight Hours. I got yes. shot in that movie. Anyway, if you need a pep talk or you want to say happy birthday to somebody special, just donate your money. I'll say hi. And it'll be all great. Anyway, I gotta get back. I got a sandwich that's got my name. It on. Uh, it it's is an honor time. to have you uh, on the Bye. show, uh, Mr. Banks. Loved you and Better Call Saul, and uh, thank you. You were robbed uh, of, of, an, of an Emmy this year. Yes, he was robbed of an Emmy. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I'll I'll uh, read the coverage later. You're or welcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just to reiterate, um, you'll get a video of Jonathan Banks uh, saying whatever you want for $50. Hmm. A bargain at twice the price. Thank you. Thank you, the intern. You're welcome. All right. So uh, this hour, we um, I, are... should point, I should point out oh, for the donation yes. incentive, if you're uh, donating to there's, uh, it, the first one's been claimed by uh, Salubrious Rex. Uh, there are a number available still uh, while this remains up. Um, but if you make sure you click the next button... Uh, not just donate uh, and select in the rewards section. You can choose it, uh, and then we'll have the info to be able to send you that. So. Excellent. Thank you. Now, time. What? We've got another donation. Uh, thank you uh, for the MBOPs. Uh, it's Confessions of Tumblr this hour, submitted by The Lizard. We're going to delve deep into secrets uh, uh, hot takes, topics, uh, surprises, and mysteries uh, in, in Tumblr. Hidden somewhere on that website, we're going to find out the deep truths. Um, we're going to start with uh, confessions about a uh, much beloved American figure, Walt Disney. And uh, for this, 
Uh, Boots, let's go ahead and uh, have you tell us about the uh, deeply personal experience uh, Disney yeah. imparts on all of us. Yeah, I'm here to expose the deeply personal experiences Disney imparts on all of us. Uh, tap here for info, I guess. <laughs> I'm tapping it. Nothing's happening. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, every time I hear your voice. Um, confessions are currently closed. Please look out for periodic announcements. Confessions sent through chat slash send message feature will not be accepted. Please only send confessions through the ask feature. If the inbox is closed, please wait for opening. If you have any questions, please send us a chat. Thank you. <clears throat> Annual right. Disney World trip. Are these like different people? How does Tumblr work? We, I, we've uh, yeah, never no, understood it. how Tumblr Everyone works. Yeah, no, it's all okay. one person. Tumblr is it, just one person. It oh, has. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe Tumblr is his name. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my only reason to live is for my annual trip to Disney World. It's a 17 hour journey there and a 17 hour journey back, but for the two weeks I'm there, two fucking weeks. It's wow. like I've died and gone to heaven. Yeah, 17 hours in heaven. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I did that back in high school. Yeah. yeah. And then I've got like some sort of like double square bracket parenthetical or something that says, I forgot about the weight of the world, which celeb had died recently, the threat of nuclear war, what stupid thing Donald Trump has tweeted out. Now it all melts away. That, that, that might be the lyrics to something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The parody lyrics to a Disney song. Then I, J Jimmy Franks, sorry. Then <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Franks. <laughs> Keep Jimmy going, Franks, Jimmy, Jimmy Franks. Franks, Jimmy Franks, yeah. Jimmy Franks. He keeps clicking Gucci on where Gucci I'm trying Gucci to read. Gucci game. Uh, <laughs> then I come crashing back down to down at the earth, stuck in the depressing reality that is known as life. Oh man, that sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, but good news is uh, Dijon's here with an anic uh, childhood anecdote. Yeah, I'm here to tell you about when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, I kind of had a crush on the Mad Hatter. From Adventures in Wonderland TV show, an, an underrated series Disney Channel during the nineties. Sure, we all watched that. Yeah. <laughs> I still think he's kind of cute now. And yeah, he's act, aged well. I even so. act like him occasionally since I'm gender fluid. I even say his catchphrase. How true that is. Sometimes. How oh, true good. that is? Mm, yes. How true that is. Yep. That's Time to say his catchphrase. I'm hungry. Uh, yes. Disneyland providing personalities for people who don't have one since the 60s. So that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Bunny Ooh. Bread, I know you're a hardcore role player. LARPer, sir. LARPer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a very important distinction. Yes. Uh, tell us a little about uh, some of what, what, what are your confessions? What are your deep secrets that you want to reveal? First of all, I'm an open book, and I'm proud, and and just I okay, all right, okay, well, never mind. This is probably going to sound incredibly lame and paranoid to most of you, but so be it. The reason I no longer tag people is because when I had a falling out with some former partners, I experienced a compulsion to remove those people from my blog as thoroughly as I possibly could. Oh my this goodness! Wasn't, that's right. It wasn't a choice. Not for me. I had to do it. The longer the URLs were on my blog, the more anxious I got. I can't really explain it better than that, nor should I need to. Anyways, I deleted our RPs. I unliked all their posts. I deleted every post I'd ever written re-blogged from them. And I removed any and all places where I had them tagged or at mentioned. It was a pain, and it took forever. So, not tagging people is my small way of being proactive. If God forbid, Anything similar should happen again, then there will be less for me to worry about later. I've also stopped liking posts for the same reason. The point being, I choose not to tag in order to relieve some of my own personal stress in a way that has the smallest effect on me and my partners. If our friendship slash partnership slash love slash fit relies on your need for me to tag you in things, well then I guess we won't be RPing, will we? It's not my ideal choice. But sometimes you have to make decisions you don't like in order to create a healthier environment for yourself. Thank you. Oh, it's, Good it's day. Ryan, you, you've That's turned this into beautiful. your bug out blog. Um, fantastic. Well, you know, uh, 
Uh, there are some people that are that they do not suffer fools gladly on Tumblr. Uh, they don't go in for the drama, or they create their own. Uh, this is, uh, I think, this is such a person. I'm laughing my ass right off right now because lately I've seen some people who tried to call me out and get put on blast for their own problematic content and acting like total clowns about it. They're all gung ho trying to bring me down in any way possible. And uh, given that only a few cut ties with me, I'd like to think I handled my response to it pretty well. But now that it's their turn to face the music, all of a sudden they're insisting they did nothing wrong. Railing yeah. against call-out culture and crying they're being unfairly persecuted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, funniest part is that they claim they hated drama and we're like, I don't want trouble, please. I'm just here to have fun. So it's not needless drama when you do it to me, but it is when the same thing happens to you. LMAO! Think about call out, though. Nobody's exempt from receiving one, not even the people writing them. If you support Woo. the system today, don't be surprised when it bites you in the ass tomorrow. You reap what you fucking sow. Yeah. All right. And uh, I just uh, just got word that uh, celebrated actor Jonathan uh, Banks, who uh, is, uh, do, is providing uh, custom cameos this hour as a donation incentive, uh, is is in the room with us. And uh, we'd, we'd like to get a, a sample cameo. Uh, right now, and and, and uh, Mr. Banks, I, I understand that you. Um, I'm sorry, are... I'm his handler, so oh, just like just tell me what you want him to could, say. And could I'll you make send sure a message happens. to Mr. to Mr. Banks about? Yeah. Um, well, we we know that uh, he he is uh, also a, a very uh, well known in the role playing um, uh, world, and I guess we just want to get some thoughts about his. You know his opinion okay, of, of the state of role playing games. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Banks. Yeah, can you just? Um, I'm, I know you can't hear anything, but just uh, I don't can, have my ears on. Yeah, please just read uh, this mystery text that I, I haven't been able to read for you. Okay, in that's advance. Fine. Okay. All right. Is anyone else out there really frustrated by the fact that every single person out there is like? No smut on this blog. Smut will be rare on this blog. Like, look, I'm not a hypersexual person either. There is zero smut on my blog right now. But there's also zero smut on my blog right now. It's the one aspect of my muse I've never in my whole career of writing him gotten to explore in detail before. Sure, I've done a few Fade the Blacks, but it's just... Ugh. It isn't the same. But no one wants to write it with me. And it's not because of this fucking attitude before some commenter gets all in my business. It's because I don't ask. Because none of my partners are comfortable writing it. So obviously, I won't write it with them because... Fuck, I'm not going to be that one asshole that tries to push my partners for smut. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Banks. Mm, Thank you. True. I'll submit this to the Emmys right, right away. I'm going to go eat my <laughs> chips. Powerful. Okay, they're extra crispy. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, there's more where that came from if you donate uh, $50 this hour. A cameo yes. message and from it will Jonathan be a Banks. video. It oh, will a, be video a video cameo. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh. it's a video cameo. Fantastic. Wow, that's amazing. All right. Uh, do we, uh, is uh, Jack Chick, are you, um, are you coming in loud and clear? Yeah, I can, I, I, I can hear your transmission. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. We have the wormhole is open. Uh, we have uh, Jack Chick uh, uh, transmitting uh, from a uh, undisclosed location in the future. Um, I, you've got some strong feelings about hypocrisy in the role play community. Yeah. That, uh, you know, it's pretty bad up here in the future at this undisclosed location, right. but I really just wanted to talk to you about hypocrisy in the role play community. Well, why not? Right. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the, God, his voice is just getting weirder. The, the hypocrisy. <laughs> The hypocrisy in the RPC shipping game never fails to astound me. If you roleplay a male muse that is canon heterosexual and you play him as such because it's IC to do so, and he wants you to write him as hetero, so much of the RPC won't RP with you at all because they expect your male muse to be RP'd as a non-canon bisexual instead! <laughs> hey, well, I mean, oh, yeah. 
But we all know that means bisexual in words only, as they truly expect you to only ship M slash M and never show an F slash M ship ever on your blog. What's worse, Anon Hate is aimed at your female counterparts and they won't address you, the mun playing the male muse, when it's his preference and choice to go after said female muse. It's sophomoric and total cowardice. Man, it makes you think. Are you Yet. the... I, I, I'm sorry, uh, I don't mean to interrupt the future, but um, address you. We knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I screwed up the entire time flow. Forget it, fuck it, I'm sorry, I'm, it's not important. It's okay. It's okay. I've ruined everything. Christ, Hitler's back now. Uh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> oh, he's there? Oh shit, is he, is he holding a gun to your head? Please, please don't, please don't say his name. Oh, oh god, if I say it three times then, okay, okay, never mind, I, I'll say Beetlejuice instead. Yeah, Let's move you. on. Boots. <laughs> oh, I, actually, I'd like to hear uh, the intern read these uh, these this section of Overwatch confessions. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, the intern. Uh, you have an announcement to make uh, to the Overwatch uh, Tumblr community. I understand. Mm -hmm. It's an apology. Uh -huh. uh, it's a heartfelt one, uh, and I'm saying this as myself, <laughs> anonymously. <laughs> Anonymously, uh, I, I want to uh, apologize to everyone I ever hurt. I, I didn't choose this. I, I didn't want this. I had no control. I was betrayed and murdered, and I turned into some kind of soulless monster, only fueled by rage. And <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm not trying to make excuses. I, I'm sorry for killing you. I, I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry for accusing you of abandoning me of, or anyone else. I, I miss you. I, I doubt I'll ever find you again. I, I'm so sorry. Um, signed, a regretful <laughs> reaper. Okay. Was that Jonathan Banks in the background there? Uh, oh, he's snoring. Yes, he fell asleep. Oh, after oh, he finished okay. His chips. Yeah, and you can hear that. Whistle. I'm so sorry. No, oh, no, it's oh. just, he, he sounds like a no. I'm you know. He yeah, he's a got issues. a deviated septum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's you know, cocaine. as you cocaine. age, it gets worse. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I have to watch him. If I if I walk away, he might pass away, and I don't. You're right. Do that. You're right. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just, Oh we're God! Is that him too? We're on the same page here. We're on yeah. the same page here. I don't know why we're fighting, but no, I'm gonna yeah. mute myself. Oh, <laughs> uh, we've got uh, just real quick. I'm just kind of skip ahead here. We've got a section about kinky actor confessions. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, uh, Boots. I want you to uh, you get to choose. Uh, do you really want <laughs> the choose your own adventure book? Uh, do you really want Loki? <laughs> Do you really want Garrett Hedlund, a star of uh, Tron Legacy, okay. or do you really want Felicia Day? Oh, um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the guy. I don't know. Uh, Garrett Hedlund, star of Tron. Yeah, that's Legacy. the one. Uh, that's right. I know. I know Loki and Felicia Day very well. Thank you. Personally. Okay, sorry, sorry. Well, uh, okay. Sure. Well, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, bye, let's, bye, photo. <laughs> that's over here now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I get to over here. Uh, oh, I need to, I need to enlarge this. He slapped uh, him off the page. Computer yeah. enhance. <laughs> I want Garrett Hedlund in the back of a lifted pickup and field under the stars and next to a campfire. It's nice. He'd point out the constellations and draw them on my skin while he tells me their stories. That star is a bunch of light. That other star is a bunch of light. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> very good stories, Garrett Headland. Stars yeah. full of hydrogen. <laughs> I'm an yes. actor. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> the stars, do, the stars don't spell out fucking anything. No. -uh. Uh, as he recites each one, he tug at our clothes until we're completely naked. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. And then the threads give up uh, on our bed of blankets and glowing in the fire firelight. He'd tease me with his fingers until I'm breathless. And when I think I can't breathe anymore, he'd grip my hips in each calloused hand and plow me the way he does his fields. 
This guy is well known for Garrett playing Hedlund fields. Was a, was a farmer. Yeah. Oh, um, has gone fado for years. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of ground to cover. Um, I would uh, like to say that uh, if if uh, how many how many how many people have chosen uh, Jonathan Banks uh, so far this hour? Uh, we two. Tally? We've got we've got yeah. Salubrious Rex and uh, Doctor Bumplug, who I guess has gone through a uh, a uh, a branding change. <laughs> the, the PG the PG branding. Is he coming to us <laughs> from the queue or the British Doctor <laughs> Buttplug? Lemon, can you remind everyone how you can find more? I think you have to click through, right? <laughs> Who? Lemon? Lemon. Oh, Lemon's not here. Oh, yeah. I, uh... I mean, you, you should mind. probably bring to him, right? <laughs> I know. We're just I don't myself I, with Lemon, too. He's, don't worry. he's not there, but he is there. <laughs> in spirit. Uh, in spirit. In spirit. In spirit yeah. and in text and in yeah. chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and on the donation <laughs> form, if you click next and go into the rewards section, you can select it. Thanks, select Lemon. It. Thanks, Lemon. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Lemon's Thanks. not here, man. Alternate Lemon. Uh, well, since we are uh, since we are uh, moving on to uh, history confessions, it, it only uh, it only makes sense that we check in with our time traveler, uh, a Jack Chick. Um, so uh, tell us about uh, <laughs> former president of the Confederate States of the United States, uh, uh, Jefferson Davis. I'm one of those poor suckers, hopelessly in love with a dead man. My man is Confederate President Jefferson Davis, and I've been harassed for it, but I care. I love him so much. Even though I don't support or agree with his racist views. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that is Jefferson Davis, former president of the Confederate States uh, of America, not Jeff Davis, the improviser from Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> Uh, please uh, stop emailing. Uh, oh, those are different people. <laughs> oh. uh, moving on, uh, Bunny Bread. I think uh, yeah. I think this is your. I think you're the number one poster on Tumblr uh, for yeah, slutty confessions. Um, yeah. What are you excited about this this fall? As uh, you know, the uh, the coeds return back to school. Oh, the number one thing I'm excited for uh, yeah. college fucking. <gasps> now, Hi, I'm anonymous. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I took long enough. That's the sound a boner makes. All right. All right. Now, my name is Anonymous, although we've met. There it is. And I said, I have a few months until I head off to college. And I'm so excited to fuck so many people. Every time I imagine college, I imagine going to some secluded place and sucking dick and fucking random people in some trashy glory hole. I mean, that's what I'm going to be majoring in. I imagine being used by any gender, any gender, for anything they want. Just taking pleasure and eat girls out and get fucked by men and ladyboys alike, by the way. Uh, mm. oh. Yeah. God, thinking about it just makes me dripping wet. And I really hope I get to live out the fantasies I have. This has been Anonymous. I mean, you know, Katie. All right. I mean Jefferson Davis. Sorry. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, the rest of these are gross. What? Um, oh, really? <laughs> you don't <No>. say. <laughs> let's uh, let's get to uh, let's move on to the anonymous sex confession blog, uh, and uh, let's hope that it's better. Uh, asking the question that's on everyone's mind: adultery. Should I commit it? I confess. <laughs> Wait, you, I've been thinking about doing so. yes, me, Jimmy Franks. Oh, I yeah. have been so, thinking about uh, breaking uh, one of the Lord's commandments. Yeah, it's about time. I we can't can we get a donation board going on that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. If you get like ninety bucks in there, Jimmy Franks will come and fuck you. Ninety? That's <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it for like five. I got fiber right here, baby. Five American dollars. Oh, he's okay, got sorry, folks, this hour is coming to an end right yeah, now. Come on, that's, finish that's the hour. Come on, finish strong. That's finish a Greyhound show. ticket. I, I, can't leave the, I can't leave the U.S., so it has to be a Greyhound ticket. Oh. Uh, I confess, I've been thinking about doing so for quite some time now. My husband makes me feel so unwanted and lonely. Like, he isn't as attracted to me. That's the ultimate sentence. Oh, yeah. Uh, music to my ears. Thank you for the uh, donation, 
Uh, do we have? I don't know who who did that, but thank you, whoever you are. Uh, like he's as attracted to me as he was before. But what does a horny and needy housewife do? Uh, fantasizing about other men can only do so much. What I do? What do I do with the ache in my cunt? Mm. How this very vital part of me. This very vital part of me yearns <laughs> to be filled and pounded and filled again. Till my legs bow with that sweet soreness that comes with such acts. What do I do with the ache in my mouth, my tongue, when all I want is the taste and heat of a hard, throbbing cock to fill it? Till tears form in the corners of my eyes, gagging softly and losing air in the lungs, only to repeatedly push that cock into the depths of my throat for that inexplicable pleasure from lightheadedness. I've always been a horny, flexible little thing, and it escalates every month for a week or two, and it must be sated, or I'll go insane! I'm going insane for cock, and my husband is not helping. Am I alone in this, or are there other wives like me, with their faithful wills crumbling to the need of being filled by a hard, hot, throbbing cock, on the brink of giving in to their desires and embracing another man, or, or is that just me? Because... If so, I'm at my breaking point. Have at me! Oh, God! <laughs> wow. is an adulterer! Okay, who, uh, who, uh, who, okay, uh, Dijon? Hello? Yes? Are you super horny? <laughs> oh, I am sorry in advance. If this is too long, I need to get this off my chest. It's been eating at me for weeks. To any mother's standards, I'm probably a little too young to think about sex this much. But at this point, I'm so horny, I can barely keep to myself. I'll watch porn for hours on end every night, and even while I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. He never knows what's going on, and I think that's what makes it harder for me. I also have this thing for older men, and I'm very easily aroused. I'm glad I have a thing for younger men at 16. <laughs> but what, one of my teachers in school is this crazy ripped Desert Storm veteran. And every day he comes in and punches the literature teacher for being a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> and that liberal was Albert Einstein. And I dream of the day he bends me over my desk and gives my pussy a good pounding. He even wears those tight jeans so I can see his bulge when he teaches. <laughs> I swear if I could, I'd let all my male teachers fuck me at once. Oh, and they're all wearing the same pair of tight jeans. Yep, just the one. Just the one. <laughs> they share it. <laughs> Eight people in one giant pair of jeans. It is a hell of a bulge. <laughs> <laughs> as hot as this all sounds, it's starting to take a toll. My boyfriend lives about three hours away, so I don't get to see him often. I mean, when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I need to be filled, it's got to happen in five minutes or I explode. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, I went to this party and I saw my ex. Uh, he's all, he's also an ex-marine. On any normal day, I'd hate his guts. But I ended up letting him finger me and eat me out in one of the bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. I don't... You know, I hear for, for $10,000, you can do that in the Lincoln bedroom of the White House. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's our next incentive, isn't it? Right, can I do <laughs> it with that former president, though? Yeah. However, uh, I don't entirely regret it because it felt amazing. But I also do, because my boyfriend is the sweetest guy. Ah, However... Come on, fucking guy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> However, my sweet boyfriend never really wants to do anything sexual. So when I'm horny, I'll talk to random guys online. They watch me play with my toys. <laughs> Lincoln <deals>. Logs. Yeah. <laughs> Bristle Blocks. You know. Transformers. Yeah. How fast I can shoot this pack of God. I'm uh, not sure what to do about this. I love my boyfriend so much, but this distance thing makes it difficult. He's graduating in a few months. Oops, 
I don't know. I don't know. That age works. That guy works out so he can go to school closer to me. I'm not sure how long I can last. I'm just super horny. Well, whatever you do, make sure to not, you know, talk to anybody in a healthy way about it. Yeah. Uh, This is healthy. This is Tumblr. We're uh, we're moving on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on from the lonely hearts of Tumblr uh, into a topic that I'm sure is totally cool and not gross. Yeah. Uh, the intern, um, what mm-hmm. what uh, what do you got? My favorite war scenario oh. is just being food in the purest form, in the purest ah. sense. They may not even process that I'm alive, and they certainly don't care. It's just obvious to them that I'm their food. Or maybe they don't know what I'm for and just eat me by default. <laughs> and if I'm willing to believe in fate, a little bit, then the fact that my journey led me into their belly kind of proves them right. <laughs> so even if I didn't initially want it, I end up coming around to their side by the time they digest me. Oh, I love a happy ending. I want to. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to hear you read uh, your next post. <laughs> oh, is this uh, also the same anonymous? I, I'm assuming so. Yeah. Why would there uh, be more than one anonymous? That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm honestly terrified of people finding out about my vor blog. The fandom I sometimes post about is very small, so people are bound to find it eventually, but I'm afraid of their reaction. Like, although I'm not doing anything wrong, I'm a minor posting strictly SFW soft vor oh. with characters who are adults because although vor never has been and never will be a sexual king for me, uh-huh. I don't want to enable freaks, but dinner, 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 <laughs> dinner. Thank you. Because War is widely viewed as a hundred percent a kink by outsiders, I'm worried I'll get alienated from the fandom as quote that freak who likes War end quote. It's a really scary thought that I'll lose people I care about just because I dare to post about characters eating each other. Mm. I- so Oof. this is a non-sexual for kink? What? Yep. I just want to be eaten whole. Yeah, not yeah. a sexual way. Yeah, platonically. I mean, who I among us? want to be in somebody's belly. Right, Agape yeah. vor. Yeah. Between, between and friends. maybe yeah. maybe there's like a scenario where I'm in the belly and like I, I use my tiny little claws to escape. You know, like I, I, I find a little soft spot in the belly and I just like dig my way out and I peek out with my little head and my oh. giant eyeballs and my I, little ears. I love and... this Mar- Marcel the Shell with shoes on expanded universe. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other kink like like being inside of a shell like being inside of a hard shell like the shell ate me that's and stupid. then I'm in the shell and it's become part of me that's like a different thing but like I see where you're coming from thank yeah. you well, no. well <laughs> I think that was the war alarm uh, now <laughs> uh, Bunny Bread I know you're a strident uh, defender because mm-hmm. uh, we were just talking about non-fetish vor right. uh, you're a strident defender of the I like turtles yeah. Fetish for community. Uh, tell us right. about. Tell us about it. Uh, well, uh, we I mean, are a fetish community. We, yeah, we are a fetish community. So, um, really, I, I just want to. Kinksters with me. I just want to say to anybody who does not get sexual pleasure out of vor, you can go fuck yourself. Wow. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> not you, intern. Wow. Other guys. Yeah. I'm pulling no punches. No, no, no. But I mean, intern, <laughs> you're you're okay. Looks good on you. You though. can go eat yourself. Yeah. Oh, don't you dare. Mm. Don't you say it like that or else. Well, yep. Boner time. Boner time. Mm. So we're a fetish community. Like, bro, oh. shut up. You know, just because you see it as sexual does not mean everybody else does. <laughs> There's nothing inherently sexual about being eaten. So, yeah, okay. I think I shouldn't have said what I said earlier. <laughs> Maybe I should have read a little <laughs> yeah. bit before. <laughs> your thesis yeah. is, is Anyways, bad. my mood swings are getting worse. Okay. And the problem with minors is horny pieces of shit not knowing boundaries and trying to be not safe for fucking work with children. Children at their jobs cannot act like this. Uh Uh-uh. Sorry. Sorry for the negativity. But that just really irked me, you know? You know? Oh, yes. Blame the minors when you interact with them. Good job, community. This is not named at you, intern. Wait, it is, intern. But I couldn't have said it better myself. 
I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Good luck. Oh, okay, all right. Yo, bro, right. I heard my name. What's up? What's up? So, What's going on? So, Yo, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, you, all re right. you referenced me, bro? Like, while I'm, what, like, what? trying to read a chat, bro? What do you want? No, no, no. no. I wouldn't do that to you. But I wouldn't be all right. interrupting right. your chats. Look, no. everybody, let's just, let's just, let's just be cool. I'm going to lower okay. the temperature. Calm down a little bit. It's my fault. It's my let's fault. Reset. Let's move. Let's, okay. I feel like maybe we, we, we touched a nerve. We're getting, you know, close to some real hey, truth Hey, Jonathan here. Banks. Uh oh. Jonathan Banks, come here, okay? Uh -oh. Jonathan Banks, who uh, right now you can donate fifty dollars to get a custom cameo video from a uh, beloved actor, a hangdog character He's actor. He's trying Jonathan to eat Banks. pudding. I hope you're. I hope you're happy. Why buddy. did you interrupt me? No, I'm sorry. Oh. Tapio, please, break. please tell I Sir need Banks. You to I need it. I need you to to tell Bunny Bread to stop using my name. Hey, Bunny Bread, knock it off. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Sorry about the pudding. Is that, did that work? It, it did. Thank you. Please Thank enjoy you. the pudding. Please tell him Thank to you, enjoy Mr. the pudding Banks. on my behalf. Uh, tremendous work in uh, Gremlins 1. Uh, big fan. Love what you do. Uh, let's move on to some some nonfiction. I know that everything we've been talking about so far has been rooted in reality, but I think it's time to get into some non, uh, so, or rather some fiction uh, kin fashions. Uh, note, a uh, fiction kin is a connection, often spiritual, with a fictional character or species deep enough to identify as them. Uh, so, with that said, uh, Anonymous, uh, uh, Dijon, tell me about uh, kinnies from non-human societies. But or, which anonymous? Yeah, let me uh, scroll. How many anonymous? Anonymous. Got, okay, <laughs> type that into the... Ch yeah, there you go. That should just be uh, like one or two hits. Anonymous sends. Do any other kiddies from non-human societies think about what music was like in that life? It's fun oh. to think about. Oh. Yes? Are you all having fun think, thinking about it? No, I like mm, thinking. Yeah. Yes. What, what, what does Oingo Boingo sound like in Purple World? Hmm? Ooh. Yeah? Uh, as music made by and for humans, all based on a lot of biological rhythms like heartbeats. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're the only ones who have that. Yeah, if you listen to music, true. if you listen to music for cats, they don't have hearts. It's it's really strange and alien stuff because it appeals to them with stuff like purring and introducing themselves by name. Right. Yeah. yeah no. And 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 purring that thing cats do to talk to each other, not to interact with humans. Yeah, and be and being jellical. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> so, it would make sense for a non-human species to have very different music, yeah. For me, I think a lot of new wave synth stuff sounds a, what, a lot like what popular songs in Ultra Megalopolis would be. Fuck is Ultra Megalopolis? No, d don't tell me. <laughs> you better explain the shit out of this. No, do not. Everyone who lives there is a megalodon. Ah, ah. Oh, you already great. know now, Jack Jack. We weren't all too different from humans, so there wouldn't be much deviation from our music to their music. So, fuck me then. Yep. You could definitely tell the technology and generations without any sort of organic-based instruments greatly influence that. Right. <laughs> organic-based instruments? So, so you do play your cats. Organic-based instruments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My cats uh, are drums and drumsticks. Can't cannot wait until we move past the flesh oboe, the yeah, worst yeah. instrument. I hate it. <laughs> it's not so bad. The flesh flute is pretty nice. <laughs> oh, by the way, hashtag alien emoji, uh, crazy emoji, sunglasses emoji. Yeah, there we go. Hey, I'm out. Uh, hey, Dijon. I got, yes. a, I got a question for you. Is are Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon real games? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, they're the okay. remakes of Sun and Moon. Okay, that's that's where right. Ultra Megalopolis is apparently from. Hold on. Hold oh. on. I, I, I thought I was on a crazy uh fan in Pokemon okay. page, but apparently it's real. So no, it's just real Pokemon fans like that. Oh, Look, before before this, uh before we started, you know, I haven't hosted a lot of these. Uh, Lemon's advice to me was to keep the energy up. I feel like this hour um, is has lost its edge. We need yeah. to, we need to yeah. get back to our roots, mm -hmm. just like just like Elvis in the '68 comeback special. We got to get right. back mm. what put us on the map. Mm -hmm. So we need to turn up the horniness 
We got to turn it, really crank it, fat. rip off the knob all the way up to eleven. Jack Chick, I want you to go back up uh, to uh, to Mistress. Okay. Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's just get let's get greasy. Yeah. Let's get okay. Nasty. Okay. I got this. I got this. Let's get gross. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad I found this blog again. I've posted on here once before under the title "Super Horny, Very Creative." I know. Ugh. All these stories I read make me wet, but then I came across the one I posted that made me think. So much has changed since then, so I thought I'd share another confession. I'm 18 now, but I'm still having the same issue as before. But I feel like maybe it's gotten worse. I fantasize about completely dominating a man, not letting him come until I say so, tying him up, pegging him, things like that. The thought of a man begging, whining, crying, or even moaning turns me on. So I recently met this guy on Omegle and gave him my kick. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Is that like a, oh, I'm thinking of Omaze, the donation uh, platform. <laughs> it's it's a subdivision of Omega Lopolis, I think. Ah, oh, okay. It's it's a it's a random chat client. It just it puts you in video with uh, uh, a a dude jerking off, probably. Oh, okay. Probably, <laughs> right. yeah. But like I okay. said, I'm, I recently met this guy on Omega and gave him my kick. He was not only a sub, but he was into the whole master slave thing and asked if I wanted to be his new mistress. I said yes, just to see where things would go, and they've been great. He's very polite and does what I say, regardless of if it's sexual or not. Well, I have phone sex sometimes, and I love to hear his cute little moans, especially, especially when I don't let him come. <laughs> <laughs> I said when I don't let him come. Oh, I'll put it what? back in. Sorry. What? <laughs> oh, better. thanks, Chai Tea Latte. When I ask, he sends videos of him getting off to my pictures, and it's really hot. Sometimes he'll even wear a collar for me in the videos he sends because I own him. He's even offered to help me with non-sexual things like work. I've never really had someone in my life like this, but I, I think I like it. Though we can't meet, my state is on lockdown because of Corona, and he's a random guy I met on Omegal. <laughs> I can't help but think about him. He's not the only guy I talk to, but he's one of the few that I can share my kinks with. I wish more men were like that. I never yeah. thought someone's mistress would be so fun! Great. Yeah, I'm really glad we did The post that. below is likely the same... Yeah. <laughs> Boots. Mm -hmm. Uh I I just want to apologize. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sorry, not sorry uh, okay. for the uh horrible choices that I've been given over the years. This is I wish Lemon was here because I would make him do this, but uh now that I I have the uh I have the infinity gauntlet, I've ultimate power. I you would know, like, like you to Lemon read. and I are love partners in this, so <laughs> like any any blame you want to put on him, you could put on me as well. I will accept yeah. <laughs> like when when I hurt you, he feels pain. Thanks, so it's so big. Uh, <laughs> I th I uh, I demand you to give it a whirl. I would like okay. you to yeah. give it a whirl. Boots. All right, all right. I'm here to give it a whirl. <clears throat> so I'm an attractive dude in his thirties, uh, closeted bisexual, and equal oh, opportunity. Plug it in your guitar amp, there, uh, uh, Dijon. There go. <laughs> oh, <I'd> <laughs> oh, oh he's gonna serenade him while he played. Okay, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry yeah, you were yeah, saying yeah. yeah crank up the gain on that please yeah please um sex with men is always easier we just want what we want i've had some fun on craigslist when it was fun grinder squirt growls and even one called blue anyway i also cruised certain parks bathrooms trust truck stops anyway 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 I was in this bathroom one day a few years back, and I heard the foot stomp in the stall next to me, and I did the same signaling I was looking to. It was slow, and I wanted some action. The man made his way over to my stall, and I opened the door. He was in his mid to late 70s or early 80s. I almost said, ugh, no. But I figured I'd give it a whirl. Yeah, they don't knock it. He said the, the name. The the don't yeah the don't knock it until you've tried it. You know the don't knock it until mm -hmm. you've tried it. Besides, uh, 
<laughs> I've been with a variety of men. Oh. Even though, <laughs> I don't want to read all that. Yes, you do. I okay. want to hear it. Okay. Boners. <laughs> Besides, I've been with twinks, chubbies, jocks, bodybuilders, and some silver foxes, and even their female equivalents. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a good person like me. Gee. And from every part of the globe, Aww. the old dude smiled, and I realized he had no teeth. Aww. I thought, Jesus, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> anyway, he yanked my shorts and, j- and ginch. Ginch? Oh, you yanked your grinch down. I, uh, he yanked me shorts and me ginch down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> proceeded to give me the best hummer I've ever had. It was hard, not moan and yell it. The feeling was so incredible, so soft, so warm and amazing. When he chewed lightly on it, it drove me wild. I gave him my number. It was that good. He blew me for a while, and then it fizzled. <laughs> they, 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 Isn't that they, usually how it ends? <laughs> no, they're... <laughs> they were they were running a uh, uh, one of those uh, oh, what the fuck it uh, <laughs> I can't think of words. It was that good. Uh, uh, ever since then, I actively seek out old men to blow me. If I see an old dude with dentures, I can tell now. It makes me so hard. While I don't do anything in return, I love an old dude <laughs> on the end of my shaft. That's for sure. That's for I'm sure. A good person. Love me. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, we uh, we are about at the end here. We don't have a ton of time left, but there is uh, some stuff at the end here that I do want to get to. And so I'm going to ask everybody to round robin this uh, fantastic list. Uh, and also, if I uh, haven't thanked uh, the the lizard uh, for uh, for this document, uh, yeah. thank you, the lizard. Fantastic work as always. Uh, so we've got some additional confession blogs here. We didn't have uh, interesting enough content. Uh, or just it was befuddling uh, enough that it wasn't worth getting into some really specific fandom shit. So let's uh, let's uh, popcorn through these. Uh, we have play choices confessions, Kinks confessions, a confession blog about the '60s to '70s band The Kinks, <laughs> and the intern. I'm sorry, I'm answering questions. Uh, no, we're just we're just <laughs> oh, going through the list fine. here. Well, let's uh, yep. buddy break. Harry, Harry okay. Potter sex confessions, hot. And also Severus Snape sex confessions, hotter. <laughs> King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard confessions. That's good, fucking rhyming right there. Superhero confessions. Mother confess a confessional for all the Mother Earthbound series fans. Non toxic DA confessions. Disney Melanie Disney? Martinez confession. Confessing Adventure Time. Da, 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 da. I, I confess to not paying attention. Horror <laughs> movie confessions. Fallout confessions. Boots confessions. You're so out of order now. <laughs> Just pick one. Uh, Sims confessions. The uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit confessions. <laughs> Wow. Parents' confessions? Yeah, Kendall and Kylie confessions? confessions. <laughs> Dirty little polygon confession, slut. <laughs> Animal Jam, the children's game for ages 7 to 12 confessions. Confessions of the Andre? Animal Jam, the children's game for ages 7 to 12 confessions? I, yeah, mm. that's an echo in here. <laughs> Animal Jam, the children's game for ages 7 to 12 confessions? Animal Jam, the children's game for ages 7 to 12 confessions. Yeah, there's an echo in here. Animal Jam, the children's game for ages 7 to 12 confessions. No matter what is the penis. The All right, everybody, that was uh, fantastic. Thank you, uh, Lizard, for confessions of Tumblr. <laughs> We're going to call it time of death. 12.49 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you're listening to the F Plus Escape from Garbage Day. Stick around for hour five. I, I, I premise we lost by the time we started this this marathon. We good. We really good. 